Welcome back to another video. Right now I'm doing the intro to this video because I feel confident that this lake is actually gonna produce. So we went out earlier this morning. When I say we, I mean me and, let's see if I can zoom in here. There's Brett. We went out walleye fishing today, uh, early this morning, like woke up at five something o'clock and didn't catch any walleyes. So I decided, you know, why even talk to the camera until I felt good that there'd be some fish catching action potentially. So um, yeah, there's a better look at Brett. Got a good shadow on him. So anyway, we're gonna try and catch some fish. Looks like Brett is gonna be running uh, the live scope unit and I'm gonna be doing some active jigging with an underwater camera. So you guys are gonna have some underwater camera views. Hopefully some fish strikes, hopefully, you know, a good variety of fish. Uh, right now we're up in the shallows. We're gonna be fishing in the weeds. So, anywho, there's Brett's snowmobile that is actually an exact match of my snowmobile. Uh, the only difference is that his runs. So, uh, yeah, let's fish. I mean, just... oh, there's one. Oh no, dude, that was a walleye. Yeah, oh my word. That's one of the cool things about fishing up in the weeds is you just don't know what the heck is ever gonna come up and uh, take a look at your bait. I'm kind of crossing my fingers that that walleye might come back around because walleyes like to do that. They like to take a look, drive by, and then kind of uh, do a big circle and work their way back to the bait. Just eyeing me up back there, sitting by that clump of weeds. Looks like he's kind of turning over in this direction. Let's see here. Just kind of shaking it in place. They'll come, one thing I've noticed with bass underwater specifically, is they'll come in real slow and then they'll come in and lunch it once they're within like an inch of it. Sorry, I'm kind of like squinty eyed staring at the camera here. It's really hard to see cameras when it's a uh, during daytime like this and these little screens. And he's just straight up staring me down. I don't know if I gotta do something different. Oh, he didn't like it when I dropped it like that. Oh, here's another one. I thought it was over after that one took off. There we go, got one. On the board right away. Now the hope is that he doesn't get tangled up in the camera. He's swimming in that direction now, but I think we're gonna be good here. I think. I think we're tangled up in the camera is what happened. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we're totally tangled up in the camera. <laughs> That's one of the problems with fighting bigger predator fish like this. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, pull it. Oh no, I lost the fish. God darn it. <laughs> well, at least you got to see the strike on the underwater camera. <laughs> so that is one of the issues when you have a big giant cord about, I don't know, two and a half feet or so from your hole. The problem is that every once in a while, the fish is gonna wrap you up in that cord. So, uh, that just comes with the territory, but at least you get some cool footage to look at as a result. And for me, like watching that fish come in and watching him like contemplate and then go whoop, to me, that's like almost as cool as holding the fish anyway. So maybe even cooler. So I'm gonna get this thing set back up and uh, see if I can get some more strikes for you. I, caught, I hooked one, oh. bought it. Oh, pike. Oh, Brett, you scared him away. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Did you guys hear how loud Brett was over there? Stomping around? There's no pike down there. There was. Liar. Uh, th I mean, dude, there's, there's video evidence. Can this thing see me right now? It's incriminating. Well, you can see like the tip of your eyeball. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like gently talking. <laughs> I'm like, moving and I go, Did you see a bass? <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite asked you if you saw a bass yet. <laughs> uh, we've been jigging for like 
10 minutes maybe, if that. And uh, I've already seen a walleye. I've had two bass come in and one of them st uh, struck and uh, a northern pike. So just a really cool mixed bag of fish swimming up around here in the weeds. And that's what's cool about the weeds is you just never know what you're gonna catch. Everything's up here. There's bait fish up here. There's a bass in the background and that bass is gone. I think but anyway there's just there's stuff up here you know and it's just a lot of good action and I like to use hard baits up here and in clear water fisheries when you're up in the weeds like this like you can totally use underwater cameras and the fish don't think uh, two things about it so anyway this is just one of my absolute favorite ways to fish maybe if oh here's a pickle I like how pickles come in at about a thousand miles an hour and then they just stop three inches from your bait and then they either hit you or they give you the middle fin. Shout outs to uh, bro for the middle fin. That fish just gave me the middle fin. How do you catch pike? Do you just keep on ripping it until they strike or do you slow it down? I'm gonna try next time and figure that out. Next time a pike comes in I'm just gonna be ripping it. One, two, three. How many bass have I seen? One, two. Oh, there's another one. See if I can get his attention. Oh, I just scared him, I think. You better it was Brett moving around in the background there. I think that's actually what it was. All right, so we had a little flurry of action there just uh, not too long ago. And now I'm thinking that maybe I should change away from the rattle bait. I know that uh, pike love rattle baits, bass love rattle baits, and heck, even walleyes lead them sometimes too. But I think it's one of those deals where maybe it's a little bit too much noise and commotion for those fish. So I'm gonna switch to something that's a little more subtler. Um, I think I'm gonna go to a glide bait. So I'm gonna get one tied up right now and see if uh, we can get some fish to come in. I've had success using baits like that, whether it's a jig and wrap or a puppet minnow or any of the above um, up in these weed situations. The only thing that you gotta be careful of is as that bait is shooting out to the side you don't want it like snagging up in weeds and stuff. So that's the only apprehension that I have with that style of bait in the weeds, but the fish love it. Just that minnow profile and the kind of darting action and so subtle darting action. Um, so that's what I'm gonna switch to. All right, so Brett's coming over here. He's really super impressed by this catch that he just got. So just smile, smile when you see him and give him a thumbs up. Dad, can you take this off? <laughs> Look at this beautiful uh, peacock bass. <laughs> rip and wrap eater. Um, oops, on like a, just a tiny little pink rip and wrap, which I just uh, took off my uh, lipless crankbait. But I guess I should have left it on if there's fish like that munching. Species number what? I don't even know. I'm just waiting for a smallmouth to come through just to get the trifecta here. Ooh, there's a crappie. Wow. And once again, just kind of like everything else that's swimming around. Ooh, is he going to spin around and give me a chance at least? All I'm asking is for a chance. I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> It's just like another species. How crazy is that? This is just such a, a neat multi-species day. And it would be even neater if I could hoist it up and show it to the camera. Everything's just kind of swimming past without a whole lot of interest. They're just kind of checking it out and swimming by and not even that much. Oh, is that a... Oh, no, there's, there's some bluegills that are gonna be way too small for us to hook. I saw that pike come in and my thought process was the last time a pike came in it came in super slow while I was wiggling it and uh, that didn't do the deed and all I did was just give it a little pop pop well it wasn't that much it was like pop pop and it just took off like I moved my rod tip this much so I don't know what to say besides the fact that it seems like the fish are well once again they're kind of giving me the middle fin so we're gonna keep on jigging and we're gonna catch some of these fish eventually here. Oop, 
Here's a bass. Oh, I was wondering, darn it. I almost, I almost waited. Oh, and look at, see my shiner in the background right, right behind the puppet minnow? Ooh, look at him. Look at that bass pecking at it. Come on, one more peck. Oh, he's got it. Oh, what happened? Did I miss something there? I guess he didn't have it. Let's jig this thing. That bass is hungry. Give him something to go after. Pure chaos. <laughs> I feel like I kind of blew that dead stick situation back there. I thought he had it. And it's kind of tiny on the screen, but here's the bass right here. Here he is. Just goes right up in front of the camera, just showing off. I'm gonna check on my dead stick here, get all, get resituated. But that was a cool flurry. A couple of bass came through. We had a little lull. It's been like an hour since we've seen fish, so it's just good to know that there's still fish in the lake. Hello. Hey, Mike. Sorry, I had to uh, miss your call there. I literally had a fish come onto the screen like the moment you started ringing. So. <laughs> So yeah, if you could just call me back every like uh, 20 minutes or so, that would be great. Sure, yeah, whatever you need, I'll set my alarm. <laughs> like, what do you think is the best way to do that? Because I can grab a million things and throw it in a full... Oop, here's a bass. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, I told you you're lucky, Mike. <laughs> Am I going to make the YouTube video? You're going to make the YouTubes. You're gonna... You're gonna... Whoa! You're you get to talk to the Northland guy and catch the bass? I, that's that's what gets to happen right now. I'm That'll wrapped up. Good one. That is a good fish right there. Awesome. And that one popped the puppet minnow with the fancy purple wonder color, which is basically just wonder bread with a little purple on the top. And yeah, that's not a bad one right there. Cool, it's fun to finally land one and not have it get wrapped up in the in the camera. So anyway, I'm gonna get him right back in the water and I'm gonna continue talking to my buddy Mike because maybe he'll bring in a few more fish for us. <laughs> Is like on YouTube. So, whoa, sorry, I gotta put. Oh, I lost him. Okay, good, I lost him. I'm on a different phone call and another fish comes in. So I guess that's just how it goes. Phone calls equals fish strikes. Hello. Hey, Mike. Hey. I was waiting for the call. I haven't caught any fish. Sorry, I, didn't, I miss, must have missed my alarm. <laughs> no, um, so I talked to Jason. I'll, I'll get him some footage. Oop. Okay. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. It's real. I got one, okay. All right, I'm gonna it's try real. and horse him up it's before real. he gets tangled in everything. It's real, I'm gonna do the best as I can to just stay on speakerphone with you for the duration. Yeah, if you could just do that, you don't even have to talk to me. Just stay on the phone. This is a really nice bass. Dog. This is a just gorgeous, clean fish. I don't know why I come over to help. You're just a beast. <laughs> how do you like that? Look at how clean that thing is, too. Not a mark on it. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. So I, I just, just hopped back on the phone with, with my good buddy Mike and another fish comes through, of course. So I think I'm gonna be calling Mike every 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna set, set an alarm. I don't wanna bother him too much, but I think once every 20 minutes is reasonable. <laughs> so I, I feel like it's completely appropriate for me to just stay on the phone for the next like two to three hours or however long it takes <laughs> you guys to get done for the day. Uh, yeah, I think that's the plan. <laughs> you call me? Yeah, he wants to know if, uh, Brett wants to know if you'll call him instead. <laughs> All right, so that fish just came in, did a little sniffy sniff and took a little bite. That's the crazy thing about bass is like, during the summertime, you can be like ripping a chatterbait, whipping it through, you know, fishing a jerk bait and they come in and drill it. And you come in in the winter and like, it's like they can't even, they can't even find where the front of their nose is 
like, like they can't even see see over their nose whatever it is I just can't even tell you how many times I've fished for bass during the winter and have had them come up and do exactly what you just saw right there on the camera where they come up and they're like Hugh, and just miss the bait like I don't know what the deal is but uh whatever it's cool to get another bite that's what those bass do and then when they miss it's almost like you almost want to like dead stick it when they're gonna bite it because they're gonna miss it uh, the other alternative is to run like a little tungsten jig so they actually suck it into their mouth that's the one downside of these hard baits sometimes they come to take a bite of it and they they can't move it when they open their mouth and so they have a hard time sucking it in so it kind of kills your uh, hookup ratio so that's why tungsten jigs can sometimes be the deal with bass there we go I got your fish Brett I'm just gonna muscle him up here before he tangles into everything oh shoot all right Ooh, don't get hooked what color are you using You're hitting my butt <laughs> look at that let me see the bait <laughs> I'm sorry, Brett, that's a secret. <laughs> Only the viewers get to see the bait. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, you dirtbag. Yeah, another one on that old purple Wonder Bread. Gorgeous fish. God, I stinking love these largemouth through the ice. Uh, I know that probably most of you do not chase these green, green Larrys during the winter time, but it's really stinking fun sometimes. Um, I'm, and I wouldn't even say that we're necessarily targeting the Larrys, but it seems like there's more Larrys swimming around than anything. There's definitely pike. Minnow head, waxy? Uh, I'm putting one waxy on there. I don't know if it matters. I've had a minnow head on this whole time. Oh, really? You've had extra waxies this whole time? Yeah, I had a little waxy on there. Duh, we're fishing Do LMBs. You. I'm sorry you're losing your dead stick. <laughs> Are you, are you moving it? <laughs> oh, I'm here? right here, man. I'm right <laughs> here. It's going down. I don't know if you can fish. All right, so Brett, looks like Brett's moving in on me, and he's using this really unique bait to give the fish a little bit of a different look. <laughs> another another Wonder Bread puppet minnow. <laughs> I found it in that tackle box lying over there. It's coming home with me. That's weird. <laughs> so anyway, I don't. it seems like white is a little bit better for some reason today. Um, and it also seems like... I'm maybe seeing more fish than Brett's seeing right now. So as you can see behind us, like that's shoreline, but there's kind of like a depression there where it's a little bit deeper. So Brett's actually fishing, has been fishing deeper water than I have. And uh, sometimes in the weeds, like it just works to fish up shallow. So it also sometimes works to just fish right next to your buddy. All right, so Brett just dropped his unit in the hole right next to me and it's kind of interesting to see where I'm at right now. Let's see if I can do two things at once here. Brighten that up, zoom it in, try and get critical focus. There it is. And now can I jig? <laughs> so you can see where I'm set up, jigging right now, directly in between two weed clumps. So that kind of works. I kind of like being in between standing weeds. That tends to hold fish. And uh, let's see if I can flip this camera around. And now it's too bright. Standing weeds tend to hold fish. So that's what I'm generally looking for when I'm using an underwater camera. And what's cool is when you're scouting these areas, kind of looks like there's a fish down there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping and see if I can catch that fish. Oh, I missed him. Darn it. See, I was a little apprehensive. It it didn't look like he like fully took it in, but I figured I would set the hook and find out. So darn it. Sometimes that's the bummer too, when you're using, oh. <laughs> Someone's moving in. Someone hasn't been seeing a lot of fish in his hole. Where are they coming from, left or right? I, I, I don't even know. I can't even tell you. <laughs> No, actually, where have they been coming in from? Anyway, waiting for Buddy to finish finish drilling over there. But uh, what the heck was I saying? Oh yeah, sometimes you just gotta take a chance. I mean, 
hooking percentage is definitely better when you're using an underwater camera because you can actually see if that little dangly hook on the bottom there is actually in its mouth. But uh, sometimes it's like right on the edge and you're not sure, like maybe if you set the hook, you'll get, you'll get some hooks into them. And that was kind of one of those situations. All right, so I think we're gonna wrap things up. That was some fun action on the camera, I think. And I'm gonna be spending a little bit of time with Brett these next couple days because we haven't fished enough together this uh, this winter and Brett's got some free time, so, you know, and I'm, I'm fishing regardless, so. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna spend some time with with Brett, where's Brett? There he is. If I had actually caught fish and whooped your butt like you did to me, would you still go fishing with me the next couple days? Uh, no, I would I would definitely go home <laughs> crying. <laughs> I'll be your punching bag. Yeah, so anyway, I feel bad. I I don't know if I'm gonna put any of it into the video, but I was I was chirping Brett a little bit today. But uh yeah, he even had to move in on me and steal use use my exact same bait. And... <laughs> I deserved it. I deserved <laughs> it all. I'll redeem myself next time. Yes. So stay tuned. I I think probably the next video will be fishing with Brett again which is always a joy and maybe Brett will actually I don't I shouldn't say maybe definitely Brett will probably kick my butt in the next one so maybe probably <laughs> <laughs> well I gotta leave <laughs> there's a chance possibly so anywho uh, thank you for watching this is one of the videos I'm not sure which number in a 33 0 video series and uh, we're putting out a video every single day for 30 days in a row. So thank you for following along and we will see you tomorrow.